What's up guys and welcome back. We are now here in part 49 of the expert walkthrough for Dragon's Dogma. Now, my uh, Arisen has undergone yet another transformation and I'd say she's looking pretty awesome. I picked up that snazzy uh, beast cape that the Arisen, the mysterious Arisen down in the uh, down in the Bitter Black Isle areas has been wearing. And I honestly think it looks really cool with this setup. I'm going to run through my equipment real quick. When I did all of this off screen in roughly an hour or so, it didn't take very long. So you guys didn't miss much, I promise. Of course, I've got my Dragonforged Heaven's Key and Hunter Bow. I've, I'm really, really enjoying the Assassin right now. I've got the Dragon's Eye Band. Nothing beats that. I have the Patterned Gambeson which is actually a level 1 Bitter Black Isle armor. It's a cursed piece. And then I have the Golden Lion Padding, which is actually a post-game armor, but you can get post-game equipment on your first run through Bitter Black Isle before you beat the dragon. I have the Darkened Gloves, I have the Half Chain Hosen, and I have the Carmine Breaches. The Carmine Breaches are really cool. Carmine is actually another term for red, as you can see. They are the same thing as the Assassin's Breaches, which is awesome, but they're red and they have better stats and resistances. If you see all of those debilitation resistances I have down there, they're actually pretty significant chunks, considering that this is just a complete bullshit run-through, no-build-whatsoever character. And I've got you know, the Beastly Mantle. This thing's cool. I also have Dragon Blood, which I transferred from my other character. It gives you massive resistance to all debilitations. Look at that. And then I have the Virtuoso Ring, which I got from Bitter Black Isle equipment as well. Boosts magic by 27, boosts holy resistance by 10. That really doesn't do anything for me, but the magic by 27 does because almost all of my melee damage is magic based of the Heaven's Key. You guys know that, though. So that is my equipment. Okay, I have a confession to make. I've been off work the past two days, and all I've done... Get out of my face. Anyway, been off work the past two days, all I've done is play Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> Both of those days straight all I've done is play this game. My confession to you is that the rest of Dark Arisen will not be blind to me. Yep, you heard me right. I got on my other character who is much more powerful than this one. And I smashed through as much of Bitter Black Isle as I could in a two-day two day span. Something like that. It wasn't like literally 48 hours of play. But, you know, gaming in between whatever else I was doing throughout the day. I put about, I think in the past two days, I put about eight hours into Dark Arisen on my other character that is much stronger and has better equipment than this character. But, the thing is, I didn't want all of Bitter Black Isle to be blind, because, as you can see, I'm getting my ass kicked hard enough as it is. And this is on hard mode, too. So, what we're going to do, I swear to God, Itachi... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to run through Bitter Black Isle, and I can tell you guys now that I'm probably going to be doing a much better job and not getting my ass kicked so hard because I ran through, I mean, enough of it. I didn't get all the way up to Damon or anything like that, but uh, I did get, I think the very last boss that I fought in the Dark Arism was that, uh, it was the Bishop. It was, I think it was called a Holy Bishop. It was the thing that possesses the dragon. It looks kind of like a white. Yeah, that was the last boss I fought. I don't know how close I was to Damon if I got that far, but I, I imagine that I'll get that far again just fine on this character, even though it's on hard mode. Have faith in me. So I'm going to stop babbling. Um, as you can see, I'm broke because I was working on some massive equipment changes. But... In the last video, you guys remember I pretty much got sandwiched by an undead dragon and a gore cyclops. You guys coming? <laughs> um, gore cyclops 
which I, I called it an ogre because I'm stupid. I thought that was the Elder Ogre, but no. The Elder Ogre turned out to be the asshole ogre with complete with weird screaming sounds that invaded me afterwards. Okay, you know what? I actually probably should have done this off screen too, but I'm not going any further into this damnable place without proper curatives. I I just told you guys that I ran through it on my other character who was basically unstoppable in this game and I still got my ass kicked more than a few times so judging by my character's current setup I'm pretty sure that if I don't go in with proper curatives I'm going to end up dying in like 30 seconds probably and that's being generous, so... Okay, proper curatives. Now, blindness is a problem because I fought the evil eye. Curse is a problem. Yeah, I know you guys don't like watching me do any of this on screen, but I'm sorry. I didn't think about this before I started recording, and I'm so damn tired right now. I can hardly keep my eyes open, but I haven't uploaded in a few days, and I don't want you guys to think I went anywhere or that I'm going to stop uploading again. So, now that frickin' petrification has proven to be a substantial problem in this place. Okay, I want that too. I'm giving it to Itachi because he's pretty... He's just as powerful as I am, even though he's a mage, so he's not going to have to heal that often, I would hope. I'm going to give him most of the generic curatives. I will give those to Valerie. Um, I will take that because it affects everybody. The spring water, of course. Oh, God. He can't carry that much of it. So I'll give him 20. I'll give the rest. Never mind. I'll give her 20. And give Valerie... Uh... Shit, I don't know. 20? <laughs> sure. I just want to be prepped on curatives. I don't want to... You know. You guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Man, that harsh spud is freaking heavy. It's always heavy. Okay, now stamina items. Those are the problem. They need massive stamina items. Um, okay, I've got Ambrosial Meat. I think I've got a Stamina Drench somewhere in here. I don't know. I'm getting my characters mixed up. And then the Mushrooms, I've got those. But this isn't going to do me any good. So I need Mushrooms. Like, mass Mushrooms. And for that, we're going to have to get back to Grand Soren. I'm sorry I'm already wasting time in this video, but... I apologize. I'm about... I'm about 70% asleep right now, so you guys are probably going to hear me start saying funny stuff that I'm not going to remember saying at all, and by the time I upload this, I'm going to be like, what? I said that? <laughs> so you guys might be in for some serious entertainment. Not that you aren't always, but more so. <laughs> Man, I do like the way my character looks right now, though. It's pretty good stats with you know, decent, uh, decent appearance. And she's, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to waste any of my lanterns. Because even though it's daytime in Bitter Black Isle, you seem to need it all the time anyways. Okay. Mushrooms. I think I'll have her carry my mushrooms. And she can carry a bunch. 
Look at me. I'm a junkie spending the last of my money on mushrooms. What was I thinking? Man, we're so heavy with curatives, it's not funny. <laughs> we're gonna need to be, though. That is the bottom line. Jeez, it's a good thing we can use the fairy stone to get back here, because if I had to run all the way back there, probably wouldn't even waste time doing it. I probably would have just gave up, not recorded, and been like, fuck this, going to bed. <laughs> That's kind of what I want to do right now, but since I haven't posted anything in about... Uh, what has it been like? Um, four days now or something like that? Uh, okay, no more dicking around. It is time to go. So if you guys remember in the last video, I started this sentence in this same spot. I'm not going to get interrupted again. If you guys remember in the last video, we got sandwiched by an undead dragon and a gore cyclops. We could not do anything to either of them. Because it's hard mode. I don't expect us to be able to do anything to them now. But, we're not near them. If you guys couldn't tell, I started this video in an, and I need to go back again. I apologize. <laughs> I need to change my skills out. But uh, I started in a different place in this video. So I went and did uh, just a, for this character, it was less than an hour of stuff off screen. So you didn't miss anything, I promise. I didn't go anywhere new or anything like that. I just, I went backwards instead of forwards. It's the other character I have on my other PlayStation account. That's the one that I put all the hours of work into on my days off. Just so I would know what I was dealing with. I don't really want to watch walkthroughs online because... It, eh, I don't know. Well, I bet I have enough to learn Dire Gouge. We're gonna find out. Um, Okay, now this, I want to be 100 kisses. This, I want to be... I don't know. We'll do Masterful Kill for this. Snake Bite does a lot of damage, that's why I want to keep that. Um, do I have enough for Dire Gouge? I do! Man... I cannot get thousand kisses though. Metal. Increased ratio of white recoverable health when you okay, no, I don't care about that. Okay, now that's really good if you're planning on soloing, but um believe it or not, you would be skeptical about this. Like you'd be like, eh, it probably doesn't even boost it by that much. It's not worth sacrificing three team members. Believe it or not. It really is, because that's how I used to play. I'm used to. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why the hell is he buying a sword skill? He doesn't use the sword. Well, you're wrong, and I'll show you why. Ah. If there is all I can do Wait, I already have that equipped. So, yes, it's already Dire Gouge. Okay. The reason I have the sword equipped, even though I have daggers, is because... I have this nifty little thing on my pawn called Devil's Bane. It was given to me from uh, level 3 of Bitter Black Isle equipment that was so kindly given to me by one of my subscribers. And look at that damage. That is 1,821 raw damage. That's perfect. So if I ever need to switch to a sword and do ridiculous damage on an enemy that I'm climbing on top of, I'll simply steal that from her and equip it. Easy as that. Dire gouge, instantaneous, right then and there. Okay, I promise I'm done wasting time now. I promised that about four times ago, but I really promise this time. Fifth time is the charm. <laughs> so, now that I have the 100 kisses equipped, I can do significant damage while climbing on enemies, and I've noticed that that's something that I've been in sincere need of, is a way to do lots of damage while mounted on enemies, because lots of them are going to require up close and personal fighting. Oh, get off. I'm dying already. Look at this nonsense. I need something that cures poison. There we go. Get off! Find an opening. Yeah. 
What the hell? Yeah, me too. <laughs> what of it? Um, bu 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 um, Mithridites? Yes, Mithridites. I was smart enough to grab those. What do you know? I'm actually surprised that I was smart enough to grab those. We have <laughs> Is it terrible to say that? Oh yeah, and another thing. I, uh... How heavy am I? Okay, I'm light. That's good. I noticed a couple things that I missed. Spiders. Everybody hates spiders. I noticed a couple things that I missed while uh, venturing through here. One of them is over here, I believe. Yeah, I didn't grab this in the other video. Even though it's just a steak. Um, I know I got... I know I got that stuff up there. Oh, come on, guys. There's spiders. Ah. Wrong button. I'm probably gonna start getting these controls a little bit mixed up with Dark Souls controls. Because I recently bought Dark Souls on Steam for computer. I mean, how could you not? It was on sale for $6. <laughs> Dark Souls on computer for $6? Yes, please. Now, something that I missed is that over there. I'm supposed to collect 10 of these, I believe. Yep, a sculpture. Alright. So, eh, another one of my confessions that I need to make is that... Well... I didn't I didn't play through Bitter Black Isle on hard mode on my other character. I had it on regular difficulty and it was still giving me a hard time, so that makes me kind of worried about the future of this walkthrough. And we're doing okay damage. This is this is all right. I'm satis I'm very satisfied with the damage we're doing right now. But you know, <laughs> I'm still kind of scared. I know this is going to be an absolute headache at certain points, we'll say that. This looks interesting. I'm not saying that I I'm, I'm not saying that I'm imminently going to not enjoy this walkthrough. I'm not saying that. I'm having lots of fun in this content. But I just know what's in store. <laughs> I know the pain that's coming. Okay, what do we got? A Cyclops? That's okay. We're going to do this. Uh, you guys are not allowed to see my secret weapon. <laughs> um, yeah, Ilya is... Er, not Ilya. Uh, Valerie is holding my secret weapon. You guys are going to judge me for it. Isn't that cool? That's pretty, that's pretty awesome that he does that. There we go, see? That's a good damage source right there. And he's down. Oh, great. Who's here? Or what's here? Is it death? What the... Okay, I don't know what that is. I have not seen it yet. Uh, I'm scared. It has a lot of health. It's like a giant hellhound. Okay. If it's a hellhound, it has fire breath. Oh, well, we have to wait. Just wait and see what it does. Okay, and it can probably kill me in one hit. I. You are you eating my pawn? No, not my pawn. Okay, we're not doing anything to this thing, but we've already seen a thousand times that anything that... Are you blind? How can you shoot anything when you're blind? Here, let me give you this. <laughs> Since you have none. Okay, he got me off of his back pretty easily. That's bad. 
I need decent curative. I have to waste my spring water. Okay. Oh, you get away from me. If he pins me, it's over. I know that. Let's see if he's weak to damage. <laughs> okay, yeah, this isn't working. What do you got? What do you got? Ah! Oh. Yeah, I do nothing to this guy. Okay. Oh wow, those don't do anything for me. Yeah, this is the only way I can even hurt him remotely. So we're just gonna have to... Hey! Don't you be trying to shake me off you. Uh-uh-uh. Okay, um... Ba -bum. Mushrooms. Give me those mushrooms. Um... Watch, I'm gonna get this thing down to like... 50% health and he's gonna... Attack! Attack! I'm gonna get this thing down to like... Roughly 5% HP and he's gonna kill me in one hit. That's been the story of this playthrough. So I'm just, you know... Just telling you that's probably what's gonna happen. I'm gonna keep an edge on my stamina because he... You guys saw before that he's capable of taking a large chunk of it in a very sudden motion, so I'm not taking any chance. You just like that, see? Hey, he's dead. He gave me a level one novelty. That's not cool. Jeez. Okay, what's that? Sinister Hide. I like that. Did I okay, I thought I leveled up for a second. Okay, Sinister Hide. A scrap of a Garm pelt. Used in the crafting of web. Okay, that was a Garm. Okay, a Garm is new to me. I don't know what a Garm is. Out of the all the hours that I played last night, I did not experience one Garm. So, that was new. Hold on. This chest up here respawned, probably. Hopefully. Yeah, we're gonna say hopefully. Gimme, gimme. Um, let me check up here for those statues and make sure they're not hiding from us. Okay, a throw blast. A skull. Now, somebody told me... I think it's the second level down where you find one of those statues hiding there. Somebody told me... I think it was Tim Lewis. Somebody told me... Are you serious? It gave me those shitty things. Um, somebody told me that throwing a skull at enemies causes curse. Now, I'm not sure if the enemies here are just really wicked overpowered or what, but every enemy that I tried throwing a skull at did not do shit. <laughs> Sorry to say, but it didn't. So, I'm not going to be wasting time or making myself widely open to attack by trying to chuck a, like a chunk of bone <laughs> at an enemy. Because everything, I just don't even have the patience to risk that. Everything down here is going to kill me in like one hit, obviously. We know this. Okay, so he's still here. Hey, dude. My cape is better than yours. <laughs> um, all of this stuff respawned, obviously. Let's see if any of it's worth picking up. Okay, that's worth picking up. Um, I have to be diligent about the way I pick stuff up. Ooh, King Warsh. I need those. I have to be diligent about the way I pick stuff up because, as you can see, we are already kind of heavy. And we need to move fast. That's all there is to it. I have to keep my speed. Otherwise, the whole purpose of being an assassin is inexistent. I guess I can take those because they're light. And putting an enemy to sleep is a window of attack. So, we got the void key in the last video. Or did we? I think we did. 
Do I seriously not have it on me? Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, I guess that's what this is for. You know, I tried throwing the skull at an elder ogre. Did not curse him. <laughs> I tried throwing it at an undead dragon. Did not curse him. Tried throwing it at, uh... I don't believe they're called Grim Goblins in this place. That's the post-game version of Goblins, but I think they're... I forget what they're called, but they're basically the Bitter Black Isle version of the Grim Goblin. I tried throwing it at them. It did not work. So, I don't know. Okay, where is that damn void key? There it is. You know what, since we're here, we might as well get rid of some of the unnecessary shit that we picked up. Like that. And that. And that. I don't know why I have skeleton keys, to be honest. I kind of want to purify those real quick just to see what they are. It might be something useful that we want to take with us. So I might as well. A light pickaxe? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's... Sure. Oh, wait. Notice board quests. We got new ones. Further an upgrade that has been strengthened to warm fire. Okay, I can do that. Uh, collect 10. Okay, I thought I already took that. Bloody. Wow, I already got it. Okay. Let's, let's see what it is. A ring imbued with a mysterious power. Wearing it boosts the wearer's power when fighting barehanded. Okay. No thanks. If you guys, I don't know how many of you guys were around for my old, old, old Dragon's Dogma walkthrough, but I did a particular scene against uh, the Griffin in that playthrough where I I called it my gangster fists of fury. Uh, what? What? Okay, fine. I don't know what I just completed. I called it the Gangster Fists of Fury, in which case I took my weapon off and started punching the crap out of the griffin, because I didn't want to kill him on the first encounter, like I did so wrongfully in this playthrough. I blame, uh, I blame Uzumi. I still blame her <laughs> for doing that to the griffin. She just had to summon the meteors. Yeah, not gonna get into it, but... Yeah, it's totally 150% her fault. Made that fight so much less epic than it really could have been. Okay, this is like I don't even I don't even care what kind of setbacks are waiting for us at this point. We're going to use the void key because we are already like 30 minutes in, and there is no excuse for this. Whatever setbacks get in our way at this point fuck them we're just gonna we're just gonna push through no more going all the way back and running all the way to the freaking door again I've done it like three times now okay I forget specifically what's waiting for us on the other side of this door is that a potent green marsh that I just passed up? Gimme, gimme. I mean, we should be good damage-wise. I don't do anything. I don't do anything to invading enemies that are super tough, but regular enemies that we encounter, I should do just fine against. Yeah, the crazy invasion monsters like that Garm right there, and then... The Elder Ogres and the Undead Dragons, those are what I'm going to stay away from and watch my pawns duke it out with. I hope you aren't against that, because I don't want to have to break out my secret weapon. Well, I kind of do when I kind of do want to have to break it out. 
The lot of it was mad. Okay. So we've got more dialogue coming from these like dead warriors. I I think it's really cool. Now some of it some of it's really depressing. It really kicks you in the feels. So if I recall there is not anything in this room. You can once we get up to that part, we'll know where we're going. But uh Oh man. Okay, now these, I noticed that these right here are actually a pretty good curative. They heal health and stamina. Right here, this part sucks because those stupid, like, leap worms are here. And they cause, like, they stricken you and it blows. So when I go through here, I just sprint and mash the come command. Well, that sounds so inappropriate. The come command. The, uh, come here command. So... This is exactly why I stocked up on curatives, because there's stuff like cockatrices here that can purify or can petrify you. You asshole. And somebody okay. See, they can take care of themselves. Now, of course, we want to get rid of these guys first. This is... Oh, stop blocking. He's not going to stop blocking. What about these guys? Okay, I get it. Now you want a piece of me when my back is turned? God, that is so goblin of you. Okay, opportunity to use that. Now, it's a good thing we have plenty of, uh, secret softener, and we have cockatrice liquor, so this guy isn't going to pull anything on us that we're not expecting. Now, obviously, he leaves himself open constantly with this attack. His little, his little jump around the flail attack like that, almost always followed by the petrification breath. Now they are. Damn it. Stop it. Ugh, man. When he knocks you off of him and drains your stamina, it does a lot of damage. You don't want that to happen, I promise. Come on, come on, come on. Damage, damage, damage. Yeah, screw it. Never mind. Woo! That looked like a hard hit. <laughs> Here we go. Look at how much damage we do to the head compared to the rest of the body. That is something that you want to take note of when fighting the cockatrice. Is that if you can hit him in the head, the fight is over. If you cannot hit him in the head, don't fight it. That is my greatest advice to you. If you cannot hit the cockatrice in the head, don't even bother fighting it. You are going to have a seriously, seriously stressful time trying to bring it down by climbing on it because it moves too much. It moves more than a griffin. And the griffin moves a lot. Okay, Lordly Tonic. That's a good healing item. It heals a ton of HP. Now, all of these rooms right here, we came out of that one as you can see. All of these rooms kind of interconnect in like a, a big spider web, sort of. And don't let your pawns stand around those piles of bones too much. Like, urge them to go faster because those those stupid leap worms, when they cause stricken, it's a pain if you don't have the right curative. So, usually when I come into this room, an elder ogre invades. I really hope that it doesn't. Like, uh, keep your fingers crossed that the freaking ogre doesn't show up because I cannot kill those things. Like, on normal mode, I was... I wouldn't necessarily say I was ripping them apart, but I was holding my own against them on my other account. What the... Where did you come from? Hey, the party's over here. Fine, run away. 
Okay. Thanks, bud. Really appreciate that. We got, I think we got it all. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, I think we got it all. Now, ah, you're back. No, stop. Look, he's here. Uh, yeah, look at look at who's here. <laughs> I can say, really, this bow is not doing anything to them. Okay, can we get rid of the sorcerers first? They suck. Hit me. I dare you. Hit me. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, now these... It says... Skull Pendant. Um... It tells you to slay the leader first. But, yeah, I go for these little mage guys first, because in my personal experience, they are a bigger problem. But look at you, just in there fighting. You are just ready. Yeah, that's my Valerie. She's always ready to grab whatever enemy we're facing right by the freaking face. So that's how she rolls. Um, I don't remember any notable loot being in this in this room, other than that Fulgurus Lord Tome, which has the ability to summon specters to fly around you and deal damage to enemies, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't really need that. I'm already back up to average, and which is not my intention. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Shattered Earth Tome. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's going to be useful. Now that, I'll, I'll use both of those probably. Okay. Don't mind that annoying sound. It's just my cat. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, interesting equipment. Average is literally, like, the limit for me. That is the lowest I will go. Until I need to do something about my equip burden. Once I get up to heavy, I don't care what it is I have to give away. I don't care if it's healing items that are worth more than my weapons. If I have to give something away to get myself off of that equip burden, I don't care what it is. Okay, a knight's mantle. And a banker's periap. Nice. What do we got over here? That's the door that leads back to the entrance. I know there's going to be something over here. Fiendish extract. I haven't found a use for that yet. It's... Because when it's set, when you read the description, it sounds terrible. <laughs> Gotta love that double jump. Oh, God. It's an Elder Ogre. Speak of the devil. Okay, I don't... I don't even know who I want to use for a suitcase at this point. Oh, wait. No! Uh, no! I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I'll wait till my... What? I'll wait till my pawns get up here to help me out with this stupid thing. Get the jump on him. Look at that! Nothing! Okay, let's put him to sleep. I know that's possible. Oh crap, I accidentally woke him up again. Well. <laughs> oh well. Let's try this. Wait, what? Ah! Oh, I just discarded it! Ugh! 
I feel like an idiot. Oh god, not the drop kick. Okay, this one's different. It's... Ooh. You, how about you aim for the head again? That was awesome. Or is this a normal ogre? Okay, yeah, this is, I don't even know why I just freaked out. I think there's a succubus in here, if I remember. And that's bad. Okay, lift stone. See, now this, this feels a little more expert to me, guys. I don't know about you. I know, Itachi, I'm using you as a suitcase. I'm sorry. I don't feel like carrying these. Um, hmm. That ogre was a... A nice pushover. I'm not even gonna complain about that. That was awesome. You guys, n you guys have experienced my hatred of ogres. Wait, what did she just say? Ah, there it is. I knew it. I hate succubus. No, nope. I don't think so. Nope. I don't think so. That should be the should be the only one in here. Okay. Got some got some crazy looking graphics up in this place. It's like light shining in through strange directions. You can climb up on the weirdest things. How's my lantern doing? Okay, we're good. I need that elite lantern, which I hear comes from level 3 novelty. I don't remember. Ooh, I got another Shattered Earth Tome. It's the game's way of forgiving me and saying, hey, we all make mistakes. Use me next time. Okay, so we checked every corner. Nah, never go down first. That is what I say. Oh, and I was right. Cockatrice liquor. Gonna get a whole bunch of that. God. Another one? What the hell is here now? And is it out here in the courtyard is the question. Oh, God. Is it another Garm? Okay, I don't have a problem with really strong monsters invading. I have a problem with not knowing what they are. Excuse me for being a pussy right now. I just don't know what I'm up against. Please don't be an elder ogre. Please don't be a stupid ogre. where it is um okay let's go back down into the courtyard it'll probably be there watch out for snakes right here it's one thing i noticed was potent in this area was snakes oh okay that giant boulder scared the crap out of me Let's, let's let's see what that is real quick. I'm curious. Ah, does not look nearly as awesome as uh, what we've got on the golden line padding. The golden line padding it has really good debilitation resistances. I like that. Okay. Hey, yep, it's that thing again. I knew it. Thing that I do nothing to. I mean, look at this. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can boost. Uh... Let's see if we can boost our uh, potency. Now, most of these uh, Piri apps, you can stack them, as in use two of them at a time. Like two of the same ones, and they will stack. But. Uh... There we 
go. We're doing a little more because of that. Now, making them stack is totally worth it. It's just expensive because you'll have to buy twice as many. But... Dang. Like I said, I'm not going to chance it with the stamina. He's going to knock me off and it'll probably do a lot of damage. Oh, see? Look at that. Man. Okay. Let's see. Okay, lightning does well against them. I believe Itachi said it a minute ago. He said it's weak to lightning. And he is quick, but he is avoidable. So, and those creepy red eyes. I like it. Really need the lightning. Okay. Jeez. I hate to be wasting this whole video on like two seconds of progress. Hey! No! Get off of her! You blinded her? Seriously? Okay, I need... Hmm... What can I... Well, who's got all my eye drops and stuff? There they are. Why don't you share, man? Did he? Did it just not even do anything? Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Ow. Quit. Okay, and he didn't drop. He didn't drop any good loot. Okay, now that is the way to proceed, so we may as well go that way. But I wanted to make sure that I explored every entrance to this place. And we missed the chest. With oak leaf oil, it makes us more nimble. All right. There aren't very many other entrances at this place that we can examine, because we just came from the other one. Yeah, we just came from up here. Okay. So it is time to go follow the blue circle. Man, I'm so tired. I just want to, like, slam my head down on this table and take a power nap. <laughs> okay. Now, the two different ways to go right here is you can go down, and there is a bastard mimic down there that got me twice. And, uh, if you go up, which I'm going to go up first, there is actually a resting point, and you will meet up with the uh, mysterious Arisen again. Clean cloth, I don't need that. And there's actually a lot of really good loot over here. Talking to him is ideal because you can manage your inventory. We can put away stuff that's making us heavy, which is a decent checkpoint. Well, a decently timed checkpoint for this spot in the game. Now, I am going to rebuild all of these that I see just because I feel that it's necessary. You don't necessarily have to, but I feel that it is needed to rebuild these and I'm gonna take a godly bath just because hey you need a bath you need a bath come here hey I don't know why that didn't work 
Take a bath. Hey, Tachi. Now come here. Why can't I... Why can't I grab anything? Jeez. Take a bath. And see, she was smart. She knew to take a bath. Oh, come on. Very well. I'm on my way. Well, there's two chests over here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. I was flying. Okay, month dried heart spot. That extends the limit of your stamina, if I recall. I played a lot of Dark Arisen in like the eight hour time span. And I mean a lot. So my memory of some stuff is still just a tad bit fuzzy. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's right here and then there's some decent loot over here. There's a lifestone. You can also sit at this table and rest for a while. There's also a notice board up here. We should be taking some of that. Now, if you guys remember, one of the items we're supposed to be finding is called a... Uh, I think it's called moon Moonbeam Stone or something. There's one... Yeah, Moonbeam Gem. There's one right here. And we can use it to unlock the door that's going to get us our new bow. Which is going to destroy this Dragon Forest Hunter's bow. I cannot wait to run back there and go get it. I was an apothecary. Before becoming an Arisen, made my coin mixing potions, fusing regions into new compounds, new elements, alchemy in a word. This place is a trove of herbs and ores found nowhere else, nowhere natural. I've seen gold and jewels enough to rot my eyes, but the treasures this place hides will keep me entertained for years to come. Now, will you have a look? See you don't regret. What'll it be then? Now I think it's really interesting how this guy he he talks so big as if he's having the time of his life down here. Bestial eye, the eye of a garm using the crowd. Okay, that's probably rare. Um I'm keeping that for sure. I think it's funny how he talks so big about himself. Well, not necessarily boasting, but I mean, he he seems pretty confident. He meanwhile, you guys have seen that this place is giving me the, the time of my life. It's I mean, it's absolutely destroying me every time I let my guard down. You guys have watched it, and I thank you for watching it. Ooh, skill stifling. That'll be a good one against that uh bishop. But uh yeah, you guys have seen this place just wreck me so far. And he seems to have this attitude that suggests that nothing can touch him in here. Which I think is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> he's he's kind of growing on me. I didn't know what to think of him at first. I was kind of, eh, but... I mean, now he's, he's kind of growing on me. Let me see if I can get some more curatives out. The golden egg. I don't really need that. Now, I, I do want that, though. Magic defense. Um, definitely find a use for that, no doubt. Let's see. Blinder arrows. Okay, that one summons spirits, I know that. Sleeper arrows. I'll take those just because. Can't really blind anything. It doesn't necessarily work. And... Other than that, I think... Yeah, there's really nothing else in here that I can use. So... Now that, I should probably give that to Itachi so he can be a little bit quicker on his feet. Don't you think? And wake stones. That's why I... That's what I was forgetting. I need wake stones. Okay, I think... 
I think that about does that. Okay. Now... I hate... I hate the idea of having to run all the way back down here again. But it'll be totally worth it. Because we have to go back. That moonbeam gem is important. Because we need that for our new bow. Just look at all these rats. This place is disgusting. Um, I guess, yeah, I can fit that into this video real quick. Um, yeah, I gotta use that lift stone. It'll only take a second to get there. That I can promise. And... I know some people prefer that I keep these videos like a solid hour. And other people are kind of asking me to tone it down to like 30 minutes or whatever. But I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of going with the flow. If it's 20 minutes, it's 20 minutes. If it's an hour, it's an hour. If it's three hours, it's three hours. If you know what I'm saying. I just kind of record on the fly when I have a free minute. Even when I'm half asleep. Yeah, this is definitely enjoyable, though. I've been having a ton of... Man, they're back already? Look at that. There is like a freaking speck of his health. If that. Oh, get out of here. Okay. Man, these things hate me. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take your mottled leather. Yeah. Feel the bite of the snake. Now, I keep going this way because it seems quickest to me. You know, spiders. Everybody hates spiders. And even though you can go any direction you want in that courtyard, and it will always lead you back down to this lower area, but I, I don't know. This, this way always seems quicker to me. I hope death doesn't show up. I don't have time for that. I have killed death successfully a couple times. It is very, very difficult, to say the least, on hard mode, because he has too much health. Listen to me. You know, fine. Whatever. You're going to be right behind me as soon as I activate the next area anyway, so screw you if you want to be disobedient. So... Something I should probably explain right now is, from what I've seen, there are, uh, from what I've learned playing, is there are eight of these doors, and sometimes he does not travel back here, believe it or not. I mean, typically he does, but sometimes he won't be standing here when you get here, which is strange. But uh, what I learned from playing that uh, however many hours of Bitter Black Isle is that there are, in fact, eight of these uh Eight of these doors that require a moonbeam gem. And this one over here is the one that I'm interested in. Get a load of this. Dragon's Ire. Look at this stat difference. Boom! That is ridiculous and wait till we upgrade it if we run into those annoying undead dragons we'll probably get a dragon forged which I'm also looking forward to but I'm going to eh, I'm not gonna go back well actually yeah, I do need to go back gotta put some stuff away ah Okay, I gotta use these. No. Okay. 
I hate that we have to start at the beginning of Bitter Black Isle for every video, but I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. We are going to make progress. It's just going to take a little bit. I didn't want to show myself getting that weapon off screen. All right, baby. Now the amazingly awesome thing about this weapon. I don't even know why I have those skeleton keys. My pawn has 10 of them. I don't need to carry these. Um, the amazing thing about that weapon is it is imbued with fire damage all the time. Well, he enchanted my weapon, but yeah, this thing, it does uh, fire damage all the time. I've currently got Holy on it because of Itachi, but yeah, I can't wait to upgrade this thing. It's going to be freaking awesome. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here and uh, stick around for part 50. We're going to go deeper into Bitter Black Isle, and we're going to have to fight the evil eye in the next video. I believe it is a pain in the ass, <laughs> but it's a good thing we have all those debilitation cures, right? So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to record one more part before I crash for the, the morning, and uh, I will see you all in the next part. Thank you for watching.